Hi Mark and Darlene. This is the house in Clifton that we're looking at today with your kids. This is the entryway with the front gate which is automatic. There's some land here in the front and then there's this cross fencing right here. This is all fenced off around the trees where they have a goat and a pig. There's the lawn art. Nice roundabout concrete driveway. Okay. Looks like you might get a seasonal stream here that they've built for. Done a nice job. That driveway over there on that side is all gravel, but this concrete part curbs around to that. Over here to the left, these trees right there is your fence line all the way down here kind of where it's real bushy and then you've got a fire pit and right beyond it there is a basketball hoop and that barn there is part of the property behind the house so really cute from the exterior everything on the exterior looks really well maintained the siding, the roof is newer. Here's your pathway up to the house. You've got these natural wooden beams. Space for some rocking chairs on the porch. Here's your entryway. And to the right you have a pull-out door would make a nice office, has a closet, so could be a fourth bedroom. Third bedroom here on the left as you enter, double closets, Jack and Jill bathroom, more laminate tile in here, not actually tile, it's laminate. Sliding shower doors, you got your Carrera marble countertops, different laminate wood floors in here that match the rest of the house. This is your second bedroom. Small room. You could lay it out a little bit better, put the bed over here, put the dresser over here and maybe fit. A little bit bigger bed. I like the nice built-in bookshelves. We're back here at the entryway. And then this is the living space. Fireplace. And open to the eat-in kitchen. Nice wood. Looks like, yeah. Um, Plenty of room to set up to eat on the bar. Really, really nice gas stove. The cabinets are actually really nice. They've just painted them, but they're in good condition. They roll good. They've been kept clean. We got an island here. I'm not sure if these are quartz, but they look like quartz counters. Nice big sink basin. Built-in microwave, big pantry. They got a big old freezer in here taking up space, but it's a nice walk-in pantry with lots of built-in storage. You can see the different laminate flooring in here. This is your dining area windows looking over the backyard down this hallway is your isolated master suite there's a door off to the side to the backyard walk-in closet with some shelving It's, I think, bigger than it looks with all the stuff in it. Big 
built-ins, nice cabinets, walk-in shower. It's a good size. It's got open the door here as you can see. Bench. And then vanity area, single sink, and jetted tub. All right, and then we'll head outside so you can see the back of the property. Let's see if I find this light switch. <clears throat> oh, and then the mudroom. So that door goes to the two car garage. And they've added a shower and a half bath in here. Here's your water heater. And folding table. Let's back up so you can kind of see. Garage. Nothing special. It's like a wood burning. Screened in porch. Again, the exterior of the home looks in good condition talking and everything that you normally see with the weather and being along the lake. I don't see any problems here. Here's a little kitty. Um, some of these screens are a little damaged. Not much, but be some rescreening to do. Easy fix. We've got this um, awning cover here. It's not attached or tied into the roof. They do have gutters on the roof. Um, but yeah, nice for shade. Little cabana for the pool. Big sunbathing step there and waterfall. Little rock area for sunbathing. You can see the basketball court right beyond it. They've got matching shingles on the cabana, which makes it look a little nicer. And then if we go past this drive through gate here, you can get to the back portion of the property where that barn is. There's a walk it through gate right there as well. And the barn is set up, it looks like four goats. Looks like about six stalls, small, small size stalls. And I'll go up here so you can kind of see the fence beyond the barn. Kind of hard to see in the video, but right where that big tree is, there's a fence right in front of it. And that's the back of the property. And it kind of goes out that way, like a triangle. So this section with the road frontage is quite large. And then this little picketed area has chicken coop and garden. See their chickens. Nice shed for the chickens. Here's the other back side of that tree shaded area where it's cross fenced for animals. We've got a pig and a goat in there. The driveway that goes up front, you can see our vehicles there alongside the garage. Um, goes all the way back to this electronic gate. So you do have two entrances plus the roundabout up front. And then we've got a foam insulated storage shed here. Workshop. Rolling garage door and a walk through door. It's 
just want to go look at the... <clears throat> it's not going to open. Looks like there's some sort of awning on the front of that shed there. But I'm not going to be able to get through to it without going all the way around. or having a gate opener. So that's the house. The kids are over there eyeing the pool. It's 106, I think. house over there shed for the goat.